How to put an image in a shape using Canva. Hey everyone, it's Maria here with Esatino Media and on this channel we show you how to create profitable content. Okay, so what are frames? Frames are Canva's way of letting you drop a photo into a shape, multiple shapes. There's tons to choose from and again Canva calls them frames. So what you want to do is go to the left here, click on elements and then we'll delete this and we'll just type the word frames and you'll see here frames the little heart symbol on the side you click on that and you'll see just a huge drop down of all kinds of different frames they have they have it by category here if you want retro letters numbers um, blobs flowers all kinds of stuff but we'll just go to see all here and we'll just pick um yeah there's there's tons here they're just all loading we'll pick uh let's go with this one here so we have that set up on the page here. Um, as far as these frames go, we're going to get to grids a bit later, but as far as these frames go, you cannot change the aspect ratio on them. So it's always going to be this uh, aspect ratio. And then you would click on an image here. So we'll just go to photos. You can go to your uploads, put in any image that you've uploaded yourself. But for this tutorial, we'll go to photos. And I just typed in fun. Let's get a fun picture here. And we'll put in this one. So you'll see here, if I click on it and it pops up on the screen, it doesn't automatically go into the shape, into the frame. So you do need to drag it over or even here, I can click on it within the window and then it'll pop into the image here or pop into the shape. So if you want to edit this, if you want to zoom in a little bit, you would just double click. And then from here, you can make it bigger, adjust what part you actually want in the shape. The only thing you can't do is you cannot make the image smaller than the shape. So you can see here, there's this end and there's this end. It will not let me put the image any smaller than what the shape is. So you always have to have it the same size or bigger, but you can kind of move it around that way. So we'll keep it as that. And then any further little updates you want to do on this, what you can do is click on the shape. And then on the top here, you can actually round the corners. So you can see how that's changed the corners there. You can add a border. So you can do a line, dots, whatever. And then you can adjust that how you want it. And you can also change the color here by clicking on this border color circle here. You can even do a gradient if you want to. So let's see how that looks. Yellow, gray, just whatever works for your project. So there's lots of little ways that you can edit the frames that Canva offers. Another thing you can do is let's just delete this here. So you can double click this and then just click delete on your keyboard, which is what I'll do. But you can also, if you had an image in here, when you click on delete, you'll see a drop down that shows you delete image and delete frame. So you can do it that way as well. Okay, so from here, I'll show you how to put a video. Let's actually pick a new frame because why not? So we'll go back to elements and let's click on you know what let's use the device let's use the phone so from here we've got the phone frame and we'll add in a video we'll just go here and again let's just put something fun and let's go with this guy so there we go now you got your video in your frame this works for any frame and again you can double click and kind of work with how I guess zoomed in you want it because you can't zoom out all that much but you can play around with it that way and there is your frame with the video okay so let's delete this here we can actually go to the trash can here and this is what i was talking about before you can delete the video or you can delete the frame so we'll just delete the whole frame here and we are going to move on to grids. And so grids are a type of frame. So what you do is you go to elements again on the left, you type in grids. And again, you'll see grids here with a little symbol. And now you can see all the different grids you can do here. Now grids are usually more square rectangular um, and it's multiple images um, that are in a, a set, um, set up in a, in a set way. And what you can do here is we'll click on this one, for example, and you'll see here that you can actually change the aspect ratio of a grid. So you can see, you know, it kind of would change how the image looks inside. So there's a lot of cool ways that you can edit it. So we'll put that here and let's get our images back to fun. All right, let's go for this one and this one and this kid's cute. Let's go for this one. 
Okay, so that's my grid. And again, we'll show you what I mean by the aspect ratio. You can play around with that however you like. Another cool thing you can do with grids is you can actually adjust the spacing. So if you go to the top here where it says spacing, click on that and you can change it. It doesn't change by much, but you can add a bit of extra spacing in there. I wonder, can you do extra? No, you can. So 100 is the max. Uh, another thing you can do with the grids is you can uh, add a border. So with the borders, right now you can see that this image here is highlighted. So if I clicked up to border, it's going to add a border to that specific image. So if that's what you wanted, if you wanted to put like a different border on each one, you could totally do that. If you wanted to put a border on all of them at the same time, then you would just highlight all of them. And then again, click on border and it's going to adjust all of them at the same time. And same with frames, you can pick what kind of border you want. You can adjust the color, uh, tons of options there. Another thing you can do is round the corners. So you can see here 100 just rounds it ever so slightly. And again, same idea with the border frame. That's only going to round the one image that I have selected right now. If I want to round all of them at the same time, just make sure you highlight it, go up to the rounding, and then round the corners from there. And that's it. Super easy way to level up your designs with just a couple of clicks. Uh, in another video, I will show you guys how to use the Frame Maker app. So if there is a specific shape for a frame that you don't see here on Canva, there is a new app that they have offered that you can create a custom shaped frame that might not be in Canva's library. If you've enjoyed this tutorial, let me know in the comments below or by hitting the thumbs up button. That would be greatly appreciated. Thank you so much for watching and we'll see you in the next video.